What's up guys, it's the iMac Mini and today I have a great tutorial on how to get Windows 7 on your Mac for free uh, using Bootcam to install it and that's uh, yeah pretty straightforward. So first of all you're gonna have to uh, get a couple of DVDs, 4.7 gigabyte DVDs and then what you need to do is go ahead and download two uh, files which are uTorrent if you don't already have it of course uh, or any other torrent uh, client you have and that would be okay so then after you download the torrent thing uh, torrent application you're gonna need to download the Windows 7 Ultimate uh, ISO file so that's uh, gonna be in the link down below together with the uTorrent if you want to download that and it's called windows7.7.ultimate.sp1.32bit.x86.june.2011 so that's what it's called you're gonna go ahead and get get this torrent and gonna go right there and download it. I already have that so it's downloading and yeah so I'll be right back when this is finished to show you the other steps. So the torrent application is down downloading and uh, as I open uTorrent right here it's then downloading it says finished and gonna go ahead and sh uh, click show in finder so uh, that's here in finder that's it right there so you're gonna go ahead and drag that onto your um, so basically you only need the uh, yeah this file right here drag that onto your desktop so close that and close uTorrent and go ahead and open that and drag the um, the info is nothing to do with it uh, yeah there's how to use burn the image yeah that's what it tells you basically what to do but I'm gonna show you that in a moment so close that and drag the ISO file onto your desktop um, it's right there I opened it uh, actually so go ahead and drag that onto your desktop the ISO file you don't need this folder anymore so go ahead and click on the ISO file it's already open for me but you have to click on that and then what you need to do is go ahead and uh, close the uh, LIL fella uh, disk image that opens close that and what you are uh, gonna do now is go ahead and insert your 4.7 uh, gigabyte CD onto your Mac into your Mac so once you inserted the DVD uh, just wait for it for to do so uh, just go ahead and say okay open finder uh, and then what you're gonna need to do is go to launchpad then go to disk utility and uh, in disk utility go ahead and click on Lil fella right there uh, right there actually and uh, click burn so it, you're gonna go and select the ISO file that you downloaded and it's on the desktop and click burn so you're gonna say it says ready to burn and say burn so that was it for this step I'll be right back uh, when the burning is done and I'll show you what to do next what's up guys so the CD was burned successfully I accidentally accidentally pressed ok before showing you that but it will say the disk uh, is burned uh, was burned successfully so after that press ok and then you're gonna be, uh, be left with this uh, just close disk utility there's nothing to do with it uh, the disk the CD of uh, that you burned the disk image on uh, will be ejected so put that somewhere you know it is uh, you know where it is so and not mix it up with uh, anything else so after you do that just go into finder and eject the little fella right there or from the desktop and close that and then you can go ahead and put the ISO back into the folder if you want. So next you're gonna go to the launch pad and open Bootcamp Assistant or just search it on Spotlight. It's called Bootcamp Assistant. And you can print that and or uh, click continue. Uh, download uh, both if you don't have the latest Windows support. Just download it uh, or instead if you have it on another um, uh, file or disk or USB or anything just like that don't click it but you have to uh, click install Windows 7 and just click on that and you're good to go and click continue and it will say to use Windows support software 
burn a copy to disk DVD or save the software to external disk I'll, uh, I'll select burn a copy to CD or DVD so uh, check that and insert your uh, just press continue right there and uh, just insert your DVD right now so once this is downloading I'll be having my CD in actually before clicking next insert your CD cause uh, to be uh, okay with the whole operation there's nothing wrong to do that right now but to be sure about it just do it before you click next so I'll wait uh, here I'll pause the video right now and be b right back when the downloading window support software is over so yeah so uh, here we are guys the download of the uh, Windows support software is done and it's actually now burning to the super drive and uh, so it's actually as you can see right there it took a, a lot of time I must say uh, to download uh, I'm not sure how many gigabytes but it took a lot of time to download so don't worry if yours is slow or something like that but as you can see it will uh, say you ha will you will have to uh, press after it's downloaded you'll have to press burn uh, to this disk it will pop up right there I just found it out and pressed burn uh, again uh, didn't uh, record that unfortunately but it's pretty straightforward something pops up uh, like this one like this part right here and you just click burn and this starts to uh, writing track and stuff so very simple nothing really hard to do so I'll be right back when the burning is done so the burning is done guys and uh, here um, Bootcamp assistant says for my password so just put that in and click add helper there's nothing to it uh, and now open uh, Bootcamp assistant it's minimized and create a partition uh, for your window so basically I'll put it at 32 gigabyte uh, have a hundred uh, some gigabytes free but everyone puts it 32 gigabyte that's the correct uh, measure and uh, number let's say so put that or if you want uh, and unless it's uh, above 7 that's okay so just put it anything above 7 gigabytes and it will be okay so create the partition uh, put in the first CD you created with the Windows 7 uh, ISO disk image file not the one we just created uh, before but the first CD we created put that in and uh, click install uh, for now I will be jumping onto my camera to um, basically let you see the whole procedure because the screen recorder won't let me record so uh, once I clicked install this thing popped up and now I'm recording with my camera as you can see right there so uh, this is sped up uh, so it will take some time for you guys so wait and uh, don't be panicked uh, when you see that doesn't move on but it takes some time not much but it takes some time so uh, eventually uh, let's see what will happen so it's completed right now and uh, yeah the iMac as I expected it's shutting down and um, the installation will probably pop up right after it restarted don't press anything don't click anything just let it by itself guys so it's uh, starting up now again my Mac the gray screen it, it always shows so let's wait and see so of course guys this is a very easy tutorial it works uh, it worked for me if you want to improve after the video I'll may post something so as you can see right here Windows is loading files so files are, are loaded and so I'll pause that right now and be right back to you when um, the the load and the installation in general is done so uh, Windows finished up so I'm gonna just select here stuff uh, also you need to have a Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth don't work on Windows 7 so you need drivers for that therefore uh, you got to plug in a uh, mouse by USB and a uh, keyboard by USB as well or just a mouse 
with the USB at the back and Bluetooth of course so I'm gonna select that time and currency format I'm gonna set Greek because I'm Greek and keyboard input method US okay so language English next so I'm gonna click install now so uh, st setup is starting as you can see right there so that's my iMac by the way and that's how it looks So, by the way, if you have any questions, just tell, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, so, just accept the license agreement. I accept. And click next. And say, uh, just click custom right here. You're gonna ho go ahead and click on the disk zero partition bootcamp right there. Go ahead and click on driver uh, options. And click format and the partition might contain recovery fire system okay click ok right there and it will be fine just now click next uh, with the partition for selected so copying files now 100% uh, uh, done the first one so I'll be right back when this is done so what's up guys uh, I'm back the installation is done let me fix that camera for you so as you can see right here that it asked me to put a username I already did that and now it's in the set a password for your account so the magic keyboard actually works and uh, the Bluetooth mouse I already use that mouse so I don't uh, I don't have the magic mouse right now but I'm sure it will work uh, Probably, yeah. So mine, uh, the Bluetooth keyboard works. So why not the uh, Magic Mouse as well? So I click next, and it says help protect. So use recommended settings. So Windows Seven Ultimate. Windows is finalizing your settings and it's starting up guys it's amazing uh, so installing Windows loader so this is not a genuine version of Windows if you paid for this DVD then you should ask for a refund so that's because uh, it's cracked but that doesn't matter it still works and still Windows but it says that because they tried to make us pay but that's Windows 7 Ultimate for sure, no scams, no other programs and stuff. This is the uh, genuine, actually cracked, but it's the same thing everybody's computer have. It's just free. So, please, if you have the, uh, if you afford to buy Windows 7, buy it. I didn't want to, did not want to pay for Windows 7 because I, I won't use it for long, uh, just uh, for some small uh, tasks and stuff. So yeah, so it's shutting down and now it's rebooting for once more. So let's see if it will finally work and open in Windows 7. And let's see after that what to do with the disk you downloaded, the support disk right there. So it has just rebooted guys, I ejected the disk, so put that other disk in, click run.exe, press ok, and uh, I cut that part off, but it's pretty straightforward, just click next on this screen, I accept the terms and conditions, install uh, to install the bootcamp uh, Windows support. So do that and you're good to go, you're ready to use your Windows 7, it will restart for one more time, so that was the iMac Mania guys, that was a great tutorial in my opinion, hope you liked it too, so please comment, rate and subscribe, comment whether you have any problems and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come, and also like this vid, uh, it really helps me off, so uh, again, uh, just do the parts, eject the other disk, put the uh, bootcamp uh, Windows support software in and do the stuff you have to do. So yeah, thank you very much and peace.